so uh, up to now we have discussed the components of time series what are the four components of time series trend seasonal variations cyclic variations and random component these are the four components of time series under time series analysis we are going to uh, study the effect of each of these four components on the time series data and we are going to eliminate the effect of each of these factors on the given time series data so uh, in the first section we have discussed uh, how to uh, eliminate or how to analyze the trend what are the four uh, methods we have to uh, detect or to find out the estimate the trend we have discussed the semi averages graphical method moving averages and principle of least squares which we have already discussed those four methods are nothing but used for measurement of trend the second component is nothing but seasonal variations and cyclic and random as i said you that random compo random component cannot or irregular component cannot be eliminated or cannot be estimated so this is uh, any uh, any time series data obviously uh, ha has the effect of this random component which is beyond the control of human hand so either neither we can estimate nor we can eliminate this random component so there is no matter of rand uh, studying or uh, estimating this the other three components are nothing but trend already we have uh, different methods for estimating trend like graphical semi averages moving averages and principle of least squares which we have already discussed second one is nothing but cyclic uh, seasonal variations we have these four methods for measuring the seasonal variations like simple averages method ratio to moving averages ratio to trend and link relatives methods these are the four methods for measuring the seasonal variations so after measuring the seasonal variations those can be eliminated from the time series data so we know the models t plus s plus c plus i is called the additive model for time series this can be estimated once it is estimated you can eliminate the uh, you are estimating trend by let us say moving averages method after estimating that you can remove its effect under additive model by subtracting so the components left here are nothing but seasonal cyclic and irregular i said you no need to touch this so what are the other two components we have seasonal this also this can also be estimated by using any of these methods after estimating that you can eliminate by subtracting this so the only so whatever amount left in the time series data we can call that is nothing but cyclic component so what is the um, uh, need for uh, necessity for measuring these uh, seasonal uh, uh, variations and trend is nothing but we can isolate these seasonal variations the first one to determine the effect of seasonal uh, we swings on the value of the given phenomena and uh, and also we can eliminate them that is by eliminating this we can say that the data is deseasonalized and the given data has only cyclic variations so see why we are going to study this trend and seasonal variations means we can isolate the trend by studying trend by removing trend you are with only three factors similarly by measuring the seasonal variations we can know the effect of different seasons on the phenomena and also by eliminating this we can isolate only cyclic variations in the data so let us see uh, let us uh, discuss the first method which is nothing but simple averages method as i already said you that all these are nothing but algorithms means we these involves step one step by step procedures so uh, in the examination point of view you are only given with uh, theory part not with uh, in practical you will face the uh, pra uh, in practical you are going to get these corresponding problems and corresponding procedures you will be asked in your theory examination so 
to represent the procedure in theory exam in a good manner better you understand the problem numerical problem as i said you for moving averages for moving averages also first i explained the problem and i gave you the procedure uh, by comparing with the problem you can understand the procedure easily similarly here also for doing this simple uh, for explaining the procedure in simple averages problems i am going to consider a problem here so that the the problem is calculate seasonal indices we call those as seasonal variations as we are indicating with some number we call those as sis seasonal indices by method of simple averages so you are given with some data now the question is nothing but calculate the seasonal indices autumn and winter so as i said to you as uh, we discussed in the components of the time series trend are known as the long term fluctuations and the seasonal variations name itself tells that these are with a duration of less than 1 year means all these are seasonal data generally seasonal means either uh, like a uh, nature uh, this one like uh, seasons all those winter summer and all and also maybe the month wise data also remember while calculating uh, seasonal indices seasonal indices means these are with a duration of less than 1 year if you read your components of time series there you will write the major point that um, seasonal variation seasonal variations are with a span of less than 1 year less than 1 year means either quarterly you will be given the quarterly data or you will be given the monthly data so you are given with every year consists of four uh, seasons so you are given with four quarters means while calculating the while calculating the seasonal indices the data may be given to you in quarterly data or monthly data if you observe the data is given quarterly so how do you calculate the seasonal indices as i said you that each method involves of different steps in the first step what you need to do is arrange the data either by quarter wise or month wise data itself given you in the form of quarter if by treating how many quarters will be there in a year a year consists of 12 months which consists of four quarters this is q1 q2 q3 q4 so the data itself is already arranged in in step 1 arrange the data by quarter wise the data itself is arranged so second step is nothing but calculate the what is the title of this method simple averages so we are going to use the averages here so calculate the average for each quarter so we write that as x bar i means we are going to calculate four averages x1 bar x2 bar x3 bar and x4 bar calculate the average of these four observations by quarter not in this way not year wise by quarter add the vertical column which indicates the average of the first quarter summer average of the monsoon average of means you are going to calculate the in the first step average for each season so which is around 45.6 the average means 1 2 3 4 5 add all these by 5 total by 5 this is also total by 5 total by 5 total by 5 so here you will get 142.2 102.4 and 209.6 in the first step arrange the data by seasons maybe year maybe quarters or months we have arranged that by quarter wise in the second step calculate the average for each quarter then how many quarters you have four quarters now find the average of averages which we indicate with x double bar means how many averages you have 1 2 3 4 means average of averages means 1 by 4 add all these averages 45.6 142.2 102.4 and 209.6 <coughs> which is nothing but 124.95 
you got x double bar average of averages in the step 1 arrange the data by year wise or uh, month wise or uh, season quarter wise calculate the average for each quarter or month in the third step we are calculating average of so average of averages which we indicate with x double bar now in the third step or in the last step we are going to calculate the seasonal indices for each quarter which we simply write as SI how many quarters we have four quarters the formula for this is nothing but x bar i by x double bar into 100 means if you want to calculate SI for first quarter q1 you need to take x1 bar first average by x double bar into 100 what is the average of the first quarter summer 45.6 means which is nothing but 45.6 by average of averages is 125.95 into 100 which is nothing but 36.4 approximately SA for second quarter means what is the second quarter monsoon average which is nothing but 114 by 124.95 into 100 which is nothing but 113.8 similarly SI for Q3 means X bar 3 by X double bar into 100 which is nothing but 102.4 by 124.95 into 100 which is nothing but 82, uh, 81.95 SI for Q4 is X, double bar, X bar 4 by X double bar into 100 which is equal to 209.6 by 124.95 into 100 which is equal to 167.7 so you got season, seasonal indices for Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 if you want to verify or if you want to check that the indices which we got you are going to write the inference as SI for summer is rounded value 36 as I got 36.4 summer uh, next one uh, SI for autumn is rounded value 82 and SI for monsoon is 114 rounded value winter is 168 so we have calculated the seasonal indices for each of these quarters how to check whether the values you got as correct or not means add these four you should get 36 plus this is cross checking to for SIs 114 plus 168 add all these values you should get those around uh, how many quarters we have 4 quarters so by adding those 4 you should get a value nearer to 400 maybe like 395 like uh, nearer value around 400 you should get let us add those 2 values 36 plus 82 plus 114 plus 168 which is nothing but 400 so to check which is nothing but sum of 4 SI should be as you have uh, 4 quarters 4 into 100 400 if you are doing for monthly data that should be equal to 12 into as you have 12 months the total of the SIs for 12 months should be approximately equal to 1200 in case of monthly data. In case of quarterly data, it should be equal to 400. Thank you.